We got reason in demo mode. And we're going to talk about a technique to keep your song uh, in the scale, on key and in the scale, as far as when you paint your MIDI data in on your various instruments, making sure that is within the scale. Now this technique is, 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 a, is a, other DAWs do have this, um, but this is kind of a workaround I have found with Reason, um, where you can create kind of a, 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 an overlay of notes. Now we're going to start our song on the second bar. Now by doing that, this will allow us to utilize this technique. We're going to create a, an IDA, or any just generic piano track, and then uh, go ahead and double click, create a one bar clip. We're going to go into there, use the new zoom tool, and we're going to paint in a scale. We'll start at C0 because we're going to work our way up. Let's just go with the uh, the C minor scale, make it easy, which is a 1, 2, and then an easy 1, and then a 2, and then another 2, and then an easy 1, and then a 2, and then we're not going to paint in the, uh, the second C. What we're going to do is we're going to lasso these notes, we're going to hold the control key, and we're going to push them up until this says C1. C1. We're going to keep doing this. C2, C3, C4. Basically what we're doing is we're creating octaves of this uh, this setup. And you could probably uh, yeah, pretty much as low as it's going to go. Uh, yeah, let's throw one, more, throw one more octave in there. What the heck? Okay. So we have C5. So we have the C5 the C0 through the C5. So we have five octaves of a C minor scale. Now this is when you want to decide what key your song is going to be in. The key is obviously the first note here, the root note. Okay. My song to be in the key of B flat or A sharp. So you highlight all these and then you push this down until it's in A sharp. There's A sharp. Okay. Click away. So now you're A sharp. You have a five octave scale of B flat minor scale is basically what you got here. And what you want to do is you want to highlight all these and you want to stretch them all out so they're a bar long. We are going to stretch this out and highlight. Control A to highlight all your notes and we're going to actually stretch them out. Just stretch the heck out of them, you know. Stretch them all the way to the end marker. That's great. Just stretch them out. Okay. Now the clip itself, you're going to keep one bar. You're stretching the notes out, but you're keeping the clip at one bar. And I'll show you what this is going to do for us. We're going to close this down. And what we're going to do is we're going to create, like I say, we're starting at bar number two. So let's say our bass guitar, for example. Let's, uh, let's see. There's a four, four bar loop for the bass guitar. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drag this down like that. And again, you think, oh, geez, what a mess. But when you double click on here, what you get is something very unique. You get an overlay. This is an actual overlay of your scale. So when you go to paint your notes in, let's say we're going to use a quarter notes, let's say. We can actually see that's a little too low there. Uh, you can see you have your note here, but then you have an overlay of, you know, five octaves or however many octaves worth of scale in whatever key you set. And then you can even go over here and you can, you know, uh, label this, you know, A sharp minor. And then by doing this, you can always... Uh, while you're in here, you can paint, you know, you can paint one, three, there's a one, three, five, back to the three, back to the five, throw a four in there, and then back down like so. Now the great thing about this is you can also create chords this way and know your chords are in line with the scale. There's a three, there's a five, there's a three, there's a five, there's a three, there's a five. 
three, five. Rather than be guessing all the time, you have, you know, if you're diminished or augmented, you know, because of your overlay. And so you know that one, three, five is good. And so you've created a, you know, a little base scale, you know, maybe lasso all this control, drag it all over. And then put like some connective tissue in here. Bring these guys over. And there you go. Now you have a, uh, you know, a base, a little base scale there. Because of the overlay, overlay created, you know that all the notes are in the scale, and you know all the notes are in the scale. And so that's an extremely useful technique. Um, you can even add like a, you know, your melody. What's great about this is now once you're done, you can pull this away. Just kind of park it. You just park it on this first track, and then when you double click, you have everything all beautifully laid out without that ugly overlay but you can see exactly what's going on there and then you can also you know drag that down to your lead track and again create a clip and now you can create a, uh, a melody let's say you know put this down to eighth notes maybe and paint yourself in a